the United States Congress so many years ago, they thought that Allen Parkway Village should come down. I remember very clearly working then with President William Jefferson Clinton and Secretary Cisneros. And all of the Allen Parkway residents said that this was their home. Paul Ward said that this was their home. Uh, and Gladys House and her team uh, and uh, our late brother, Linwood Johnson, uh, said no. And I'm not sure if Gladys went with us, but I know Linwood Johnson went to Washington to meet with Secretary Cisneros. We have a thriving community. We lost some of the buildings, but we built new buildings up. And that means that more families can have homes. Because I always say that wherever you live, if you live in Allen Parkway Village, that is your home. And we treat you with the dignity that it is your home. That is why we came here one week out from Thanksgiving to be able to provide not only uh, answers to food insecurity, but we also came to talk about where we are in this pandemic here in America. Let me acknowledge uh, the president, Ms. Fillmore, of the Residence Council, and uh, first name, Josie. And let me acknowledge the vice president, which is Angela. We're going to let them say a word, and let me acknowledge our management, Paul, and your team. They look wonderful. Thank you so very much. Mark, thank you again for uh, being with us, and you'll introduce. There's some good friends over here that... When you wear a mask, there's Mr. Chairman over here. When you wear a mask, you can't find who they are, but you can see them uh, and uh, they can get introduced. I can recognize the mayor because he's wearing his banner. We're delighted he is here and um, we're delighted we have a mayor that belongs to us. I just want to say that over and over again. Let's give them him a very big hand. Really? I started out early this morning with Commander Johnson. Uh, and I am now here with her again. This is an amazing leader in HPD, among others. And that is Commander Johnson. Raise your hand, Commander. Commander Johnson has an imposing presence with a big heart. She is the community. Safe and secure we are when Commander Johnson is around. To all of the residents, let me thank you. There are some folk here dealing with veterans. Wave your hands. We're delighted. Uh, the veterans must always be taken care of, and there are people getting tested. Mayor, we have, uh, last Monday before I went to Washington, and I'm going to try to be as quick, we have Dr. Peter Hortez here. He's still coming on here. Uh, we issued um, a, a challenge or a request, really, for the public safety alert to be indicated, to be sent out, uh, because it had been utilized in other states. Uh, we are a million cases. We hit a million. We were the first state to do so. California followed us. That is not something that we want to emphasize, but we do want to say that we are a big state. And so these things happen. The public safety alert went out on Tuesday, and we are hoping that people will continue to test, test, test. And then I gave the citywide challenge, and the mayor's already heard of everybody is testing. I'm excited about that. They're down on Cullen and, and, uh, and Almeida. Uh, they were at South Lawn testing. And then we're going to show you the testing list. I'm going to do it right now before I give these numbers. Because if you're in the sound of my voice, Metro, Attic Park, open today, HCC Northeast today, Saturday and Sunday, Memorial Park running trail, Minute Maid Park, open Saturday and Sunday. Uh, then Kroger, Saturday and Sunday, Southwest Multiservice Center today, Holy Ghost Catholic Church today, Park Police, I'm sorry, Park Place Regional Library today, ACC South today, Multicultural Center today, Kroger's again on Sunday. My friends, get serious. We're having now over 253,000 who have died from COVID-19. All of our medical professionals suggest that we will be leading into the most devastating period of COVID-19, which is right now. Our friends in El Paso are again, or for the first time really, having to use refrigerated trucks 
for the dead. Let me thank the Houston Fire Department Mayor. Let me thank you for your generosity. They have already gone on to El Paso to take the place of those hardworking medical professionals who have been working around the clock. People are dying. And so it is important to note that we have topped 100,000 cases a day. We're now at Friday was 198,000 cases, a 67% increase from the previous two weeks. Hospitalizations also hit a new high with 82,100 COVID-19 patients across the country, an increase of nearly 50% in the past two weeks, and the country's death rate toll has topped 200,000 excuse me, excuse me, 2,000 COVID-19 related deaths, the highest mark since May per day is what's happening. Harris County has been hit hard with 179,000 cases, 15,000 cases of active cases and 2,000 deaths plus. And El Paso, Texas remains one of the hardest hit communities in the country and all the mayors are gathering to help that mayor because when the rubber hits the road, these mayors are right on the front line. I also want to take note of the fact that a million children have been diagnosed with the novel coronavirus nationwide since the pandemic began, including 23,800 children in Harris County. Child cases in the U.S. represent roughly 11% of all the cases. So when you see people in line, when you see people in the lines for distribution of food. Food insecurity is matching needing resources because this week 720,000 uh, 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 plus filed for unemployment. People are looking for work, but people are not able to find work. And that's why we're here today, because we want to get on the other side. We want to keep you alive so that you can get a vaccine. We want to get on the other side so that you can get a vaccine. So there's no doubt that I'm going to tell you, you might just hear it again from our mayor. You in Allen Parkway Village, you are a community. Thanksgiving, you may be trying to go in and out of each other's homes. I'm begging of you. If you're going in someone's home, you better call them right now and get them tested. We're asking you to realize that Thanksgiving to this year has to be something that you write in your history book. Put it in your phone, write in your diary. 2020, we had Thanksgiving with two people and we were living in the same household. Or we had Thanksgiving on a baseball field because we wanted it to be big. Or we had Thanksgiving in the parking lot. But if you ignore what we're saying, it does not matter if it's a family member, if they're not in your household, 